Tim O with NextLevelGuitar.com. How you guys doing? Uh, Dave and I just did a little blues riff in C. Uh, I want to show you a lot of stuff going on in there. Uh, there's minor pentatonics, major pentatonics, uh, mixolydian. We don't care. Let me show you something cool. We have this cool lick that helps our ear transition from the one to the four chord. And uh, I utilize it in, in my passage there. And uh, check it out. We're going to show you how to do it. Here we are on the eighth fret utilizing a one four five blues pattern the riff that i'm going to show you we use at the end of the one going to the four chord it, it leads your ear to the four chord and let me show you how that works here's a riff we're going to learn today at regular speed now we'll do it slow for you let's break this lick down now uh, the second finger is going to be on the D string on the uh, 14th fret, and your first finger is going to be on the B string on the uh, 13th fret. So you're skipping a string in there. Then here's what the sound is going to sound like. Here's your D string, and there's your B string. And we're going to take that position, and we're going to slide it down one fret, and we're going to slide it down one fret again. Now we're going to change the position. I'm going to, for simplicity, here's where we're going to end up, because it's going to be a slide. We're going to end up, uh, and I do it with my second finger on the D string on the uh, 13th fret, and my uh, third finger on the B string on the 13th fret. That's where we end up, but actually we're going to go slide. Uh, I hit it random. You can do it from the, the C note if you want. So it's going to sound like this. there or in the four chord you can hear it here so that's where your ear leads to on that riff let's do it one more time a little vibrato on there too also anyway I think it's a wonderful uh, lick so practice that lick and learn it and it's all also going to help you when you slide up to that four sound Look where you are. You're right here in the uh, the C minor pentatonic mini box or extension. Right there. So you're set up to. Uh, we're going to go on a, a, on a close shot, and I'm going to show exactly what that box is. So, our, our, once again, our riff. To the four, and here's the tight. Here's a box. So you're right there, and uh, you can start playing away on some really cool uh, bends and slides right there. Here's the mini box we end up on. Like my third finger is on the 13th fret on the B string, and if you lay your your first finger on the 11th fret on the high E string. There's the next note in the box, and just bring your third finger down to the E string and the 13th fret, and there's your box. And in that mini box, we need a third finger on the 13th fret on the B string. Well, that happens to be your C root, so you, you really want to drone on that C, because the, the, uh, the, the 1 4 5 pattern is in the key of C. And right here, your second finger on the 12th fret. There's your G, or fifth. So there, you know, there, there's all endless things you can do right there. And, and that riff we just showed just sets you up in that position. Okay, all this neat stuff's right in this box, so we know that's our root. Plus we got the flat five, the blue note. But you can actually use your pinky. And you got that G. Right there it's wonderful stuff hope you enjoyed that lick this is Tim O from nextlevelguitar.com come and check our website out uh, nextlevelguitar.com for more uh, lessons and free information on your guitar playing to help you with practicing your licks jam tracks are essential and if you want three free jam tracks click on the link in the box here and uh, sign up on the email and you'll get three of them for free from nextlevelguitar.com this is Tim O see you next time